What is going on everyone? Welcome again to another video here on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about uninstalling the Apple Music on an iPhone. Now, this basically involves removing the app along with all of this associated data files from your device. Now, this action effectively discontinues your access to the Apple Music if you decide, but it also can free up the storage. So it depends on what you actually want to achieve with this step. So yeah, I'm going to show it to you right now. Of course, you need to locate the music app on your home screen like this. I have found the icon. So what I have to do is to hold down on it and it shows me multiple options. You can search or get inside the app like shortcuts, but you can see there is the divider and under it is edit the home screen and remove the app. Remove the app is what we need to click on. And if you decide that you want to delete the app or remove it from the home screen, removing it from the home screen, you can see that it disappears when I click on it. But if I scroll down all the way to the app library, you can still still see it is available right here. So in case you want to delete it entirely, just hold down on it and delete the app. So you can hit delete. Everything's going to be OK. Once you do that, the app is deleted. But you can see that I get this pop up, which is very useful and very interesting. So do you want to keep your subscription for this app? You can see that I'm using the Apple Music subscription. I paid for it monthly. It's a great service. But when I delete the app, it asks me if I want to keep it or manage it. Because it is possible that if I delete the app, perhaps you don't want to pay for the Apple Music anymore. Now, I can keep the subscription, let's say that I use it on other devices, so I'm going to keep it. Or the other option is manage it. So if I click on manage, it moves me over to the settings and basically gets me to the section where I can manage my subscriptions. It has to load up, of course. I will, of course, show you then how you can get there even without this pop-up, how you can get there through the settings. But as you can see, for some reason, it takes a bit longer. Anyways, it is right here and it gets me over to the Apple Music subscription. So I have, as of right now, the family subscription ready. So I can cancel it with the cancel button right at the bottom. That's an option as well. I can see how much I pay and when it renews. So when the next payment is going to be made actually in two days. So that's good. And also I can tap on see all plans and switch to a different one. I now have the family, which I pay 10 bucks monthly for, but I can switch to individual or perhaps individual for a year. Let's say I'm a student. I can switch to that if I want to. So that's how you can delete the Apple music alongside with the subscription. So that's something to pay attention to. However, if you don't get inside of this section, in case you don't go through the pop-up, you can get to the same stuff using the settings. So open up the settings like this, get inside and at the top, you can see your name. That is when you're logged in with the Apple ID and all the stuff is there. So go ahead and click on that. You can find it the same sections. So name, password, payment, and the subscriptions is right there. So tap on subscriptions. You can see that it has to load up. It has to get all the data that it needs. So it's important to be patient with that. And once it loads up, I will be able to browse all of the active as well as past subscriptions. So you can see I have the Adobe Photoshop, Apple Music, all the stuff that I need, but Apple Music is right there as well. So you can get inside. And this is the section which we have seen already before. It's using the same stuff. So definitely go ahead and manage it the same way if you want to. I just wanted to show you that way. Of course, if you want to get the app back, all you have to do is open up the App Store and look up, go to the search and find the Apple Music. So you can look it up, literally search Apple Music, click on the cloud icon, and this will gonna make sure that the app shows up on the home screen as well once it loads up, once it downloads. So that's very useful. That's how you can get it back. Also, one more option I need to show you, one more thing that I need to let you know about is this Fox Tech educational platform. I quickly mentioned that the App Store, in case you want to get in-depth information, in-depth full guide of the App Store, for the, which takes 18 minutes but explains every single thing on your app store app you need to join the educational platform down below in the description it's free to join inside besides that you will find a community of other people learning as well and also a classroom where you have all apps explained video editing course interesting stuff so if you want to you can join it for free the link is going to be down below in the description Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below to the Fox Tech so you never miss future tutorials and videos like this one. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.